today. I cannot believe my results so far that I am on day like four-ish and I'm down three pounds officially. So that's really exciting. I wanted to give you guys a little idea of the plan that I'm gonna be following. Again, if you're my client, you already have your meal plan. I'm not telling you to do what I'm doing. Um, if you're in my lifers group, you may be using the fat burning and cleansing system. This is gonna be very similar. So just know that what I'm doing is not necessarily what you need to be doing, what's feasible for you and fitting into your life. But I just wanna kind of give you an idea and of course reach out to me for personal one-on-one -on -one so we can customize it for you but what i did so far to lose the weight is i did start out this project comeback with a two-day fat burning cleanse and so it's intermittent fasting using different nutritional support to just stabilize your blood sugar and you know reduce your cravings and hunger and really help your body go into an even deeper detox there's so many health benefits to it aside from fat burning and losing weight on the scale. A lot of times when you guys do uh, a two day cleanse, it's a lot of it is gonna be water weight. And you may find that once you start reintroducing carbohydrates and food into your body um, at normal level again, that you may retain some more water afterwards. That's normal. Carbohydrates require water to go into your muscles. I'm not gonna get too technical. There's so many health benefits to cleansing aside from just losing the weight and fat burning. It improves cognitive function, it improves insulin sensitivity, um, autophagy, which is where your cells, uh, dead cells, turn over. So, so many health benefits to it. I, I knew it was gonna be a great way. I have not done a solid two day in quite a while. And if you guys want me to be really authentic, I had a client text me last night and she's like, I failed. You know, she was like halfway through the first day and, and she gave in and she ate something healthy. And I said, listen, let me tell you what happened to me last week. I attempted this and just my mindset was not there. I was not ready for it. I just arbitrarily was like, yeah, I'll do it. Cause I've been doing it for years. So I know what I'm doing. Well, long story short, because I was not mentally in the game, I ended up cheating. No, I didn't end up cheating. I ended up giving up, and you don't even want to know, guys. I was down at my beach house. Somebody left a can of Chef Boyardee there, take me back to childhood, and I was just like, you know what? I'm done with this. And I literally broke my cleanse with Chef Boyardee. So I'm not saying to do that on a regular. I'll turn it down, Sarah. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm not telling you guys to do that by any means, um, but I'm just, I'm being authentic and real with you so that you know that things happen. And if you start beating yourself up about it, then you know, you're not gonna get anywhere. You learn from it. And so what I recognized in that moment was that I was not mentally prepared. One, I didn't have enough of my snacks. I didn't have my green tea chocolate bars. I didn't have um, my ionics. So I wasn't prepared as far as tools go to keep me going as well as mentally, I just wasn't in the game. So there you are with that. But getting back to the project comeback, I just started off with my two day cleanse. And the plan for pretty much now um, through project comeback is going to be doing about four of those days throughout the month. And I'm also gonna be doing pretty much a meal structure of three meals and two snacks a day. I've done the six mini meals, I've done the fasting every day, the 16, uh, I've done the 16, eight rule. And I do like to fast a lot of times in the morning. I find that I have more focus when I hit the gym and I'll usually break my fast afterwards, but I'm just going to follow the normal three meals, two snacks a day, I'll probably be having one or two meal replacement shakes or bars and just some good quality whole foods throughout the rest of it. Um, I'm not really calculating my macros at this point. After years of doing this, I can be more intuitive. I'm not a fan of intuitive eating for the average person. They have too many cravings, too, many, too much emotional stuff going on. But what I'd encourage you to do is just start with focusing on the whole foods. If you're using the supplement line, do that as well. Don't put too much dogma around it. Remember, no dogma dieting here. I also, as far as fitness, am doing my normal five days a week. Honestly, I'm just finding that 
being motivated and inspired and holding myself accountable to this for you guys and hopefully you guys holding yourself accountable because you have a little bit of skin in the game being here as well. I'm just killing it at the gym. I'm definitely more motivated when I'm doing and I'm taking it that extra little step. I'm making sure that I absolutely am getting my pre-workout in, that I absolutely am getting my um, protein in right, right away after my workout. No slacking there by any means. So doing my normal four days a week, um, nothing out of the ordinary, just pushing it a little bit harder. Never underestimate what the slight edge effect can do. It's just that little bit over a compound period of time can make one big result. So uh, very excited about this. Um, we are in just the beginning of it. Leave comments below. I am off for the weekends. We're heading to the beach house. I'm actually wearing normal clothes. I got to do my makeup today and I'm excited. I will probably not document, to be honest, over the weekend. I'm just gonna enjoy and be off. Um, but I can tell you, even though I'm going to the beach house, I know that I am gonna be far more motivated to stay on point. And you know, even if little things slip in, like yesterday we did have a, another couple over for dinner, Clark and I, and um, I had a little bit of wine and a couple of pieces of chocolate, and that didn't undo it. I very much believe in allowing yourself couple of little things here and there so probably throughout the whole project come back I'll be having some chocolate I'll be having a little bit of things here and there um, but again it's that what you do consistently over a period of time that compounds into that one big result so thank you for watching guys have a great week rest of your day comment below if you have any questions if you want to become part of the lifer group if you're not already if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching make sure you hit subscribe and like my channel it really helps and supports me out and make sure that you share this with a friend if you think that it would inspire them take care